Honda just unveiled the wraps of the 2024 Honda Ridgeline Trail Sport trim. In this video, I'm gonna show you all the changes for the Trail Sport as well as the 2024 model year. So let's get right into it. And starting with the design, obviously we have to start with this paint color. It came off of the Pilot, it's new for 2024, and it's for the first time available on the Ridgeline. And I do wanna point out, it is exclusive to the Trail Sport model. So on top of that, you do get some exterior styling bits to add to the trail sport. Obviously, you do get the badge up front with that nice, that nice orange in the back that kind of outlines the letters right there. You do get this grayed out grill that's very aggressive, very bold in that kind of gray colorway. Your Honda badge is also sensors for your you know, safety sense. And if you come down here, this is an actual functional plastic, plastic, but if you do take a closer look, try to do your best at getting a shot of that, Ethan. Uh, you, could, you might be able to see the oil pan that is covered by a skid plate. So if you're going under the trails, I don't know if you could see it, this right here, um, right, right there. Are you able to capture that on camera? Yep. That's your uh, protection right there. It's not a full skid plate, but a skid plate that protects like the lowest hanging component of that powertrain, which we'll get into. It, it is, I mean, you guys, the three, same 3.5 liter V6 making 280 horsepower. But to be fair, it is one of the few V6, or it's one of the few trucks of the segment that still has a V6. Not crazy horsepower compared to the inline four cylinders that are in like say the Tacoma, the uh, Chevy Colorado, GMC Canyon. But I mean, the Raptor has a V6 or the Ranger, excuse me, has a V6. But let's continue with styling. Um, and real quick, I wanna point out, you do get you know similar LED headlights, hasn't changed too much there. Black trim that goes across. But when we come to the wheels and tire package, I wanna show you guys, it's got a new unique wheel and General Grabber AT tires from the factory. Usually they haven't offered really aggressive tires from the factory, it's crazy that it took till 2024, to be honest with you guys, but you can get it. Most of the time, I feel like you just swap them yourself. But this is a really good tire to come with from the factory, and they worked with the, the company on developing this tire package for this specific vehicle. On top of that, they did make revisions to the suspension components, so your dampers, your spring rates, in order to make it more compliant and better in off-road conditions. So a lot of underpinnings did get improved for the 2024 model year, specifically the Trail Sport, to help you when you actually wanna go on trails, which, which makes sense. Another thing I want to point out is the mirrors. They are power folding. These ones are blacked out, which look cool, which is nice, power folding. And that is a uh, standard uh, on this as well as the 2024 model year for all ridge lines, which is really cool. If we take a look at the design, I mean, the blue really is what pops out. All your A pillar or your B pillar and C pillar back here is all blacked out in flat plastic. Looks really good. If we come along the back, you can see, you know, same tire setup in the rear, nothing unique there. Uh, but let's show you the rear because this is where the styling really kind of shines and it's stamped into the tailgate. Ridge line, very bold, looks really cool, kind of like what they did on the Chevrolet, uh, the Col uh, Colorado. They have Chevrolet stamped in the back. Honda decided to go with the Ridgeline stamped in the back. But like a lot of companies have been doing this on the Tacoma, the Tundra. I think it looks cool. Makes it feel more rugged. I like that. And you can also get a black decal that matches up with black Honda badging if you'd like. But I do like the Honda badging back here. And then you do also get Trail Sport badging, badging to know what you got. But off the bat, you'll know it's a Trail Sport just by the paint. You do get the same tailgate though that folds Folds down like, okay, it's not, it's not damped, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's not a damp tailgate, uh, but it's got the cool feature of being able to, you know, release it from the side. There's a handle here, and then it swings open, and you get a 60-some inch uh, truck bed, which is really cool, and then it is uh, four feet wide, so you can just fit some plywood nice and easily, perfectly flat, and that's cool. You also get, obviously, the large trunk that's built in. You get a space saver tire, your jack, and this does have a drain plug. So that's really cool. So if you do put any like muddy equipment in here, you can just hose it down, drains. I don't know if you have to like tilt it up to like get it to the drain hole, but like it'll drain whatever's in there. If you put a big ice uh, amount of ice and drinks, that'll drain out. So that's really cool. I think it's like, oh, man, what I forget what the cubic feet is, uh, but seven or something. I'll put the number here. A lot of storage space. And then standard on all ridge lines, you do get these tie downs. If you really want to make sure you strap down equipment, maximize utility of this truck bed, you can do that. Towing, as you guys know, hasn't changed for this year, 5,000 pounds, and you get that class three tow hitch right there. But I mean, if you wanna compare this to like a Tacoma, those have like 6,000 pounds. So if you need that body and frame for towing, I mean, you can get 6,000 pounds out of those trucks. Um, this one, I think 5,000 is more, more than enough for most people, even like large SUVs tow around 5,000. So just kind of give you guys some perspective there. But they did make a lot of changes in the inside. So let's hop inside and check that out. All right guys, so hopping inside here, it's a trail sport, so it's got a lot of trail sport treatments. Let's start with the seats here. You do get trail sport kind of embossed, uh, stitched into the headrest. Looks really nice with the orange stitching that goes all throughout the seats here. These seats are heated, three-stage heating. You get a button for it, 
right there, which is great. Uh, three stages, which is great. One, two, three, boom. Um, but no ventilation, which is unfortunate. I mean, you're gonna be paying, uh, pricing hasn't been announced on this, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I expect it to be a little more than the prior year, and then this is a new trim level, so expect a little bit above that. Uh, but going con continue on down here, you do get a uh, unique trail sport floor mats, which is a really nice touch. The interior though is pretty much the same with the exception of this screen and the center screen. But let's start with this screen here. They updated it, made it faster, more responsive, has wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. And I think it looks really high definition compared to the previous model, model years. And also uh, looks, I think it looks really high definition and feels very snappy and very responsive. If you come down here, you get a nice little snack tray. You get a wireless charger and this is big shelf here. But the really big thing is the fact that you get these large cup holders, which fit those large uh, 32 ounce Nalgene bottles. Give me a second here. So, like I said, you fit one of these, boom, just like what they did with the uh, Honda Passport. And instead of that like tray that opens up and that was super low, they give you a nice armrest. It's got the nice stitching and you open it up and you can fit a full size tablet in here. You get a nice little tray right there to fit like pencils and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it from the passenger's perspective slash interior. But with that out of the way, let's show you what you get on the driver's side because they made some improvements here. All right, so from the passenger's perspective, the door cart stays pretty much the same. You get your nice trays here, your fuel cap opener. I mean, versatility, which is great to see. Uh, auto up down on the front, memory seats right there. And you have your power fold in as well as your mirror adjustments right here and your eco button. Nothing here is too crazily changed. The biggest difference and what they want me to show you guys is this center screen. Seven inch digital on this portion, analog on the speedometer portion. And you can go through different menus, which I will try to show you guys right here. We'll dismiss that at the home button. I don't know if you can get a good angle of that right there. Um, yeah, so you can change the contents here if you'd like, which is nice. It's very great and dynamic. So that's a nice modern touch uh, for 2024. I feel like they could go full edge to edge. They've done it on other models. Would have been nice to see that here. But I mean, steering wheel's got the nice, nice same uh, stitching. That's orange, uh, and that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. But let's check out these second row seats and show you guys what you guys get there. All right, so. Back seats on a truck, mostly meant for utility, not as much for carrying people. Let me sit back here to show you guys how much space I get. I'm five foot eight. Um, I get really good headroom. The leg room is cutting pretty close. I mean, I can, I can tuck, I can slide in a little bit. I was sitting pretty comfortably back there. Um, it's not really meant for taller people, but again, a lot of the trucks in this segment haven't really been catering to the tall people in the back. But these seats are really nice. Uh, they're not heated in any capacity. You do get orange stitching, which is fine. And then you do get this uh, cup holder and little tray setup over here. But obviously you guys know the versatility here is what's important. So you open this up. Oh, there's a little handle here. And I love how the, the handle goes at the same time. Actually, you think you want to back up here, I'll lift it for you as well. Boom, goes up. I love that like dynamic, the hinge uh, pivots in in relation to the seat lifting up because it sits right in here. So you get huge space, fit loads of stuff in here, tons of space. Tons of height, uh, and it's nice and flat with the exception of this. But what's cool is when you bring this down here, bring that down, it locks in place. Very satisfying thunk. And if you actually take a peek underneath here, you get a nice little tunnel. So look down here, you can actually see there's a nice tunnel because those bars are the only thing supporting the front of the seat. You can still fit things while you have people, while you have people in here, which is really cool. So I'd love to see that. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up here. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section. Again, pricing hasn't been announced, but expect it to be a you know step up from previous model years, especially with this trail sport trim. So again, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.